Okay, that brings us to youth worship. Um, what in a nutshell basically is the uh, the premise of the, the lyrics behind uh, this one? Youth worship was was a uh, was probably the third in the trilogy of uh, songs dealing with uh, with the girl. Um, be began in Into the Vortex, kind of. Uh, uh, captured in She Steals the Sun, and then f finally uh, with Youth Worship. Youth Worship again was uh, me questioning myself as to my own motives in this uh, thing that was happening to me at that time. And uh, I kind of uh, looked at myself, am I falling to idol worship by, you know, taking my focus off of, you know, God's plan for me and, and, and maybe uh, uh, starting to worship this obsession that I was having with somebody young or the obsession with just youth in general, my own wanting to be uh, younger, my own dissatisfaction with uh, my own uh, uh, face at that time, again, hearkening back to the looking in the I think uh, I kind of, you know, from the from the start, you see the end in these situations because you're not foolish enough to really think that, you know, deep inside you know the realities of things. And I think, you know, with, with, with the first verse, it, it sets up that, you know, you're not going to be the better man to somebody young. You know, there'll be young people who are the better man. You know what I mean? And, and they're going to be looking through their eyes at you as something different. You know, you're kind of an outsider, no matter how hard you try. Uh, their time is now, and your time was then. So it's kind of uh, something that I recognize, though I didn't really want to admit it so much. And, and, and I think once you get... So in, in essence, like the lyrics say, uh, you become lost in the crowd. You're faceless at this point in time, whereas uh, other people are uh, better men. For you know, uh, and I kind of it went then into uh, uh, into actually again the we, we saw the the uh, intro to Into the Vortex where the person's questioning and they're getting this kind of creature response. So. Again, I went into, you know, this Beauty and the Beast thing where, like, I actually became the creature. You know, I'm from, you know, this other kingdom far away where my time was. And there is no relationship anymore between how a young person would see me no more than this old creature that, you know, was from, was ancient and all that was left and kind of crushing his bones and, you know, you got this whole image of a... Of a you know, seeing yourself as as old and, and ugly, and uh, I think it went from there. Uh, uh, then there was an uncharacteristic music, long musical piece there, which I thought worked really nice because it allowed me to, when the song came back in again, I could change the focus of what it was, and, and uh, the song actually ends on a on a hopeful message that. Um, you know, you can, you can fight these. You can, you can sit and criticize yourself, or, or be, uh, you know, be down on yourself about this or that. But in the long run, you know, feelings of, feelings of, I guess, uh, of love or affection or, or that type of thing, you know, can be unconditional regardless of age. And, and I think that, you know. While things may not work out for you on a you know a physical format, it, it you can still show love to people, and I think um, you know that at the end it always wins the day. You know, being you know showing kindness and, and love to people, you know, despite the span of years or whatever is creating that chasm. So.